Toolkit CMA is designed to help you quickly and easily build professionally branded presentations, both for buyers and sellers. Toolkit CMA also offers a large selection of property flyers. In this video, we will be building a listing presentation with marketing pages and CMA data. From the home screen, click Create a Presentation, then choose a presentation type. There are multiple different options. I'm going to choose a listing presentation for this demonstration. Next, you'll be prompted to select your documents. You can hover over a document name to see an example of what that page will look like. Select your documents. When you're satisfied with your selections, click Next. Type in your prospect information into the fields provided. The Use Last Prospect button will autofill whoever you last entered, and the Saved Prospects lets you see your history of prospects and choose from that list. Once completed, click Next. If a cover letter was included, you will have the opportunity to make edits to the text. Once satisfied, click Next. Now it's time to choose the MLS to get the property data. Your MLS will be listed here. The way the property data is imported will vary depending on your MLS. Instructions are provided, and our support is free if you need assistance. I'm going to use the demo properties for this demonstration. Once the file has loaded, you will be directed to the Select Properties screen. Check off the properties you wish to use as comparables. The program will only use the ones with check marks beside them. If you imported the subject property, then you will leave that unchecked on this screen and then select it in a screen that will follow. Click Next to proceed. If multiple photos are imported, you will get a screen like this, in case you want to omit or reorder the images. To exclude a photo, click on it and it will gray out. To change the order of the photos, drag and drop them into the preferred position. You can either click the green Next Property button to go to the next Comparables Photos, or click the blue Continue with Presentation button to get out of the photo selection flow and continue building your presentation. This screen allows me to select just my favorite fields for the summary page, which displays all the properties in a one-line format. You can choose which fields will appear on this page by clicking Edit. Click the trash can icon to delete a field. When finished customizing, click Next. Now I can either enter all of the information for my subject property, or I can choose one of the imported properties I had left unchecked back on the Select Properties screen. That autofills everything, and I can make edits if needed. Click Next to continue. If you included the Price Adjusted CMA, you will have the opportunity to make adjustments based on the amenity differences between the comparables and the subject property. Like all the documents, this page is optional, but if you include it and make adjustments, that will alter the recommended price range to make it more accurate. 
Continuing on, we get the recommended price range, which is calculated based on the sold prices of the sold comparables and any adjustments that were made. This range is editable in case you want to change it. Next comes the pricing strategy page. You can enter this text as needed and even set a default for future presentations. As a matter of fact, you can set defaults on most of the pages so that future presentations are ready to go with your preset defaults. Next is the marketing plan of action another editable page. This one discusses what you will do to market their home from week one until the property sells. Click next and now it's time to pull it all together. Check to include tablet if you want both the PDF and an interactive tablet version of your presentation. If you want only the PDF, then leave that box unchecked. Click Create Presentation. The presentation PDF will be displayed right on the screen. There is a section to view the summary, a section with the embedded PDF, a share menu with options to email, email with a meeting link, or text the presentation, save, and home. You can click to view the PDF in a browser window if you prefer that but there are options to print or download the report at the top of the embedded PDF. Let's take a look at how the presentation came together. This concludes the demonstration of using Toolkit CMA to build a listing presentation.